as a Nigerian, nothing surprises me anymore. You guys already know that someone by the name Chef Dami is already going for another cookathon and she said hers is 120 hours. You won't believe that another man has already said he's going to be doing his own for 140 hours. And lots of people have been so happy about this for some weird reason because people are like, ah, Shebi, this is how we want to continue. Let's do it. Let's bring it on. In fact, it has now even become a sort of entertainment. If you go through TikTok right now, you see lots of people using it as a joke. This person will say, oh, I want to go 500 hours. This person will say, oh, in fact, I'm going to be doing mine for 100 days. So it is now kind of hilarious. But anyways, I'm trying to remind you guys that there are so many things you can actually do besides cookathon because I don't know why Nigerians have decided that they must focus on cookathon alone. Cookathon is not the only thing that is in existence, and I'm pretty sure that if this man is to do his 140 hours, don't be surprised. More Nigerians will come out, and they think that this cookathon thing is a very easy, easy thing. The way everybody is just joking about this cookathon, you think it's actually as easy as it sounds. People are forgetting that it's not just to cook. It's not just to cook. You have to know how to cook. And anyway, it's not even about knowing how to cook. You actually will stand. It's like a marathon, but a marathon in cooking. People are forgotten. If your legs are not strong, my dear, sit down in your house. Don't sit down and be saying you want to go and do cookathon. Cookathon is not for the weak. The fact that Hilda Bassi did it does not mean that it is as easy as it looks. And I think what is giving a lot of people this kind of drive, I must do it, I must do it, is because they found it so unbelievable that Hilda Bassi, a pretty girl like that, can actually do that cookathon. And I think they are feeling like, oh, if Hilda Bassi can do it, then I can do it. They I know I'm not trying to say that a lot of people cannot actually win it. All I'm saying is it needs preparation. It needs preparation. It needs safety measures. It needs protocols. And Chef Damida has been doing hers for some days now. I haven't seen any medical support of that sort. Like, you need medical support. This is not a joke. The Guinness Book of Records is not even paying you salary for this. You doing it is just so that your name will be on their record book. And then lots of brands might come to meet you. If you're someone that has a restaurant, like Hilda Bassina has her own restaurant. She has her own business is going on for her. So this recognition helps her because she's already a very established person before even going into this. So the international recognition alone, you know the lady has class. So the international recognition alone, she's expecting her to be getting recognition from different places, different brands all over the world. Before I continue, Hilda has finally been certified by Guinness World Records. So this is a very happy moment for me right now because um, what this lady has been through, if she hadn't gotten this thing, the amount of people that were ready to talk all manner of bullshit is unimaginable. God has finally put the enemies of progress to shame. <laughs> I'm sure that they're not smiling right now because these people have been bringing all manner of excuses. In fact, to the extent of, imagine someone even saying, oh, because she ate dog meat, they should not give her the certificate. Just imagine that nonsense. Thank God. I'm just so happy for her. Congratulations to her. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, babe. Congratulations, Ilda. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, God. Thank yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. It was not thank even. you, thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God, you are good. Oh God, you are so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba and Omega. I magnify your name. I glorify your name, for there is no like. Thank you. <laughs> it's yeah. 
Ever since Nigerians discovered that the evil removed close to seven hours from her hundred hours, a lot of people have been commenting. Here are some of the comments. This person said they removed seven hours or didn't did seven hours from Hilda Pasi. By the time Guinness World Records is done with Chef Dami, she will manage her 47 minutes cooking record. This one said Hilda mistakenly added one minute to her resting time and because of that, Guinness World Record deducted seven hours from her hundred hours. If they follow the same procedure, Chef Dami should be owing Guinness World Record two whole weeks by now. This one said whoever told Hilda to do hundred hours did her a great favor. They took seven hours out because she miscalculated the breaks. Wow. Chef Dami is in trouble. Another person said, I don't know why that Chef Dami thing is bothering people. She clearly didn't even apply for it. So Hilda's record is safe. So why is it that you are pressed that she's catching crews? Some Nigerians are so funny. She didn't even say she was catching crews. They have the whole of Nigeria believing that they are actually doing this Guinness World Record something. This person said, some people are not supporting Chef Dami before now. Not because they hate her, but because they have conscience. Now that the hard work of Hilda has been rewarded, more people can enter to get rewarded. So, I agree with this person. People can naturally apply now that she has been rewarded. If you want to go for Guinness Book of Records, I think you need to be strategic in your planning. So that it's not when you get the attention you want, you cannot now convert it to money. You have to be able to convert that attention to money. Yes, there are different kinds of attention. A lot of people have trended in this country. You can trend for so many things. But after trending, is it actually going to convert into money and not just chicken change is it actually going to bring you real good money because if it doesn't bring you real good money then to me i don't see the point so me personally I, i'm also motivated but i don't think i'm going to be trying anything out except i'm pretty sure that if i do this thing i'm if i don't get money from guinness book of records i will surely be getting money somehow somehow you understand what i'm saying now the good news is that not every nigerian is carried away by the cookathon because there are also nigerians who are trying out other world records that are not cookathon like recently there was a boy that won i think skipping on one leg for 30 seconds and he did 153 jumps in 30 seconds that was amazing i, I can't even imagine doing it anyway guys i expect to see more people coming out to show their skills their talents and if you don't think you have a talent that can actually go into the world records you might be surprised look deep within and you might find something that no one else can do but you anyway guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye